What is going on, Sag? It's Anne from Cancer Moon's Tarot. Let's get into your May love reading. Listen, if you are new to my channel, I skip right through the bullshit and I jump right into the reading, right? If you guys enjoy that, let me know. If you guys don't, well, I'm sorry. That's my personality. Anyways, let's get on into it, Sag. Let's see what's going on for you in the month of May, all right? First card is Sagittarius. Second card is the person you're currently dealing with. And the third card is the outcome. Just saw a comment that little, like, I just saw a comment. Someone was like, you talk too fast. And I'm like, well, suck my dick because that's how I talk whatever anyways here we go Sag. first card is you second card is the person you're currently dealing with third card is the overall outcome all right one more shuffle Sag, and i think we're good this is for you all sagittarian love in the month of may let's get it all right Sag. here we go this is you you're coming forward being very honest Kind of, it's almost like the Queen of Swords with cutting through the bullshit, but you're going to be honest and you're not going to go straight forward out of your way to just say, listen, this is the truth. You are going to be truthful, though. You're going to say your truth. You're going to say your piece to somebody in a situation than what I'm seeing here. With the person you're currently dealing with, you are probably going to communicate the truth and explain how you truly feel to that person. person you're currently dealing with has a lack of union with you. You could be separated from this person at this time, but they right now are not feeling any kind of union with you. They're feeling kind of left out in the cold. They're feeling like, you know, separated from you is basically what it is. You probably spoke your truth to this person, maybe spoke your truth to this person that you wanted to be on your own. Or communicated that you didn't want to be in union with them, but that person right now is feeling, you know, just disunion, right? When they probably want to be with you. The outcome here, Sag, is that you got somebody who's not letting the fuck go from you, all right? Someone's not dropping you. Someone's holding on to you. Somebody's holding on feelings for you. Somebody's still trying to move forward to you, or someone's still, still trying to move forward with you in a connection here, but right now you two are separated is what I'm seeing for you, Sag, is okay? Possible energy we have here is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all right? What else is going on for all Sag in love, please? What else is going on for all Sag in love in the month of May, please? Month of May. All Sagittarius in love. Let's get some good shit, though. Let's see. Maybe maybe you're going to give this person a chance. That is a possibility for that. All right, Sag. Here we go. Under the King of Swords, you're bringing the King of Wands. Under that, you're bringing... Okay, here we go. Holy fuck, Sag, you're coming in clear. Look, you're telling your truth, but you're you're very fucking stubborn about it. All right, you're being stubborn as a motherfucking mule, Sag. Look, I love you guys. I love your sign. Just don't be stubborn. Tell your truth, explain your truth, and do it in a very peaceful manner. You may be doing it in a very stubborn way, is what I'm seeing here. You're still expressing it, but it could be like a half-assed truth, is what I'm seeing here. You're not giving it your all. Could be a bit of a half-assed truth. Also, what I'm seeing here is because there's this lack of union, because somebody is not with you, because of somebody, because uh, the person you're currently deal dealing with is separated from you. Sorry, I'm stuttering here. Fucking whatever. Because you're separated from this person, they're going to stop chasing and stop pursuing you. Granted, somebody here is not letting go. They're going to stop chasing you. They may still like you. They may hold on to their feelings, but they're going to stop chasing you. That could be a bad omen in your case because if you end up, if the roles switch and you end up wanting them back or wanting union with them, they're done chasing you, right, Sag? As for someone who's holding on, you have the world in reverse. This is looking like something that is going to go on for a while. The world card in reverse can talk a lot about permanence, right? Something that's permanent. I wouldn't say this person's going to hold on to you forever, but this person's going to hold on to you for a very long time, Sag, because they do see the energy and they do like the energy, okay? Sagittarius's are like, oh, look, a squirrel. Let's go chase it down the street, right? <laughs> I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I love all Sages, but you Sages are very free-spirited. You guys like to do your own thing. Meanwhile, the person who you're currently dealing with is like, well, I, I love you, and I don't want to let go. Basically, is what I'm seeing here, Sag. What else is going on for all Sagittarius? Is in love, please, in the month of May. Oof, excuse me. Holy crap, we pulled the whole spread. I didn't even mean to, but hey, it makes it makes a hell of a lot of sense here. All right, Sag. Look, here you go. Here's you. You're single. You're you're loving your life. You're doing your own thing. You're feeling confident. You're feeling very good about yourself, Sag. You're making a final decision about this person. Okay. You're kind of in that decision. Uh. Okay, in the upright, you guys were in that decision where it was like, look, do I cut them off? Do I move on with them? Now you're like, all right, I'm making my final decision. I know what I'm doing. Yet as the outcome, look, here's this person still waiting for you. Could be waiting for your decision. Can be waiting for you to see if there's a chance to reconcile. But overall, you have this big energy of somebody here waiting for you, all right? You have this big energy of somebody here waiting for you. 
What's the most possible outcome for the person who's waiting for Sagittarius, please? What's the most possible outcome for the person who's waiting for Sagittarius, please? Here we go. Ooh, it fell all the way down. Give me one second, guys. All right, here we go. Four of Cups in the reverse. That means new love, okay? Some of you Sagittariuses, like this always comes out for Sag, there's love coming in, there's love right in front of your face, but you're ignoring it. It's in the reverse position. That's new love on the horizon. That's new love coming through. Some of you Sages are going to take the chance of new love with this person who's waiting for you, right? Because I said, what's the most like, or what's the most likely outcome for the person who's waiting? The most likely outcome is that there will be new love coming in for that person. The person who's waiting is the person you're currently dealing with, and since they are waiting so much, and they've been waiting and being a good person and being patient, good things come to those who wait. I'm seeing new love coming in. All right, Sag, I see you guys getting with this person who's been waiting for you. There's this big lack of union. Someone's not letting go. Someone may be speaking their truth here as well. Sagittarian, you guys are definitely looking like you're doing your own thing, you know? But what, from what I'm seeing here, some of you are going to take this offer, you're going to take this cup, and you're going to move forward in new love is what I'm seeing for you, Sag, is it right? So overall, not a terrible reading, not a terrible reading. Definitely big egotism here. I feel like, Sag, your ego's up there as well as the person you're dealing with. I feel like you guys just aren't together because you're both are kind of like, he's holding on, but Sag, you're like, no, don't touch me, get away from me. I want to do my own thing. I want to be single and like do my thing. But uh, overall, though, I'm seeing new love. I'm seeing you guys get together as basically the outcome here. Anyway, Sagittarius, thank you guys so much for watching. I do love you guys. I'm not joke. I'm not picking on you. I'm joking with you guys. So don't take it to heart. Um, anyways, let me know if you guys like this video. Let me know if it resonates down in the comments below. And I will see you guys later. All right? Deuces.